vehicle hunter here. I just got a brand new to me free car. The Paseo is a car that I already have, but I got this one for free. And you know, all I had to do is go and pick it up. It's actually in pretty fair condition. It's in better shape than my other 95. I have a 95 Paseo that's, uh, you know, almost exactly the same. The uh, tires and brakes are pretty good. And I'm going to switch these out with my car because they are in much better shape. There's the usual rust here that cars get around, but the car, my car, is much worse. You can see the back here. You can see this has got like the little tail section. I might take it out and paint it silver. But pretty good shape for a, a 20 year old car. The uh, tail lights are in pretty good shape. There's the rust on the wheel wells. Good tires. The uh, paint is definitely fading but it's expected on a car of this age. There's um, a little bit of a rubber coming out here and this is kind of popping out. It's got something that mine doesn't have which is a sunroof or a moonroof, whatever it's called. It doesn't work. It's, um, it has no title so that's how I got it for free because you know it's hard to get a title for a car like this and what's the point of uh, spending a lot of money getting the title it doesn't have the battery I don't even need to make it run I think the problem is that they uh, ran this car without oil and messed up the head gasket so I don't know if it's even worth fixing but it's got a lot of good parts let me show you on the inside. Oh, this is something I actually need, even though it's rusted, better shape than mine. And yeah, it's, it looks like it's a little cracked, the windscreen. So let's go inside. Oh, there goes Sophie. So inside, it looks pretty much like mine. And Sophie likes the car, very familiar. It's got a radio. I mean these cars are really very very basic. One thing I do like is this sunroof. I mean that's and inside of this car is actually in decent shape. It is not bad at all. The uh, sunroof looks nice. I kind of really wish that I could uh, you know switch out the motor and everything and put the sunroof on mine but let's look up here. So I guess to open it, we just do this. Come on. Looks pretty stuck on. Oh, there's a button here, a release. And look at that. And it just kind of pops off like that. Oh, that's cool. Never had the car with a sunroof. It's kind of a fancy thing. And it latches on pretty nice. The, uh, the vents here are exactly the same as mine. So this is my third Paseo. I really like these cars and you can see there's an airbag. There's no other airbag here. I had a 97 Paseo that had airbags over there. So this one's got 240,000 miles and you know, it's pretty dirty. It's an automatic four speed. Let's see what's in here. It came with the actual, um, here's a receipt or whatever. This is kind of nice. It's got a USB charger and it came with the original manuals. You know, the seats are in pretty good condition. So I need to figure out if um, I'm going to keep these seats. The clock looks a little bit different than mine. And brake. I mean, really, really simple. Here's the um, the gas and the trunk. This is for the the hood and this is a fuse box and the trunk opens better than mine actually so you can see that mechanism oh it's got this so you can like flip it forward so you can get a little bit more room in the back the rubber seems to be kind of like bad shape
and let's look at the back seats. You know, these back seats are comfortable for maybe like a couple of miles or if you're a small child, you'll fit in here because they are not very comfortable. It's tight in here. It is a very small car. Sophie, come on out. Come on out, Sophie. I really want those wheels on mine. All right, Sophie, come on out. Come on. All right, I'm gonna move over there now. Sophie, come here, Sophie. Good girl. Good girl, come on. And that's pretty much it.